We got the chance to speak to the stars of Ted Lasso. Here now is my conversation with Jeremy Swift and James Lance, who play Higgins and Trent Crim. Uh, my my first question is for you, Jeremy. Um, I think there was a brief moment in season one when Higgins was something of a sycophant to both Rupert and Rebecca. But for the most part, I have always felt that the character is probably the most stable grounded mm-hmm. character in the series is that an accurate read and is that how you approach the character <laughs> well uh i can only approach the character uh i can't enforce stability uh <laughs> with, to the writers uh, can we just have no nightmares or romances or you know, where, you know uh, but i think it's just partly being older uh, uh so he's you know lived a life which we don't particularly know about. Um, maybe there's a spin-off, Young Higgins. Um, mm-hmm. uh, so he's been through a few things already, and yeah, now he's just got to get. He's got to keep working because he's got four, five kids, uh, one of whom is an adult. Uh, so he's yeah. So he he's just got to do what he's he's got to work. He's got to and he's got to be uh, motivated and m- motivate the team to get to a great position. So he can um, have a bigger <laughs> bank balance is my you know major objective for him. Yeah, that is an incredibly practical approach. I applaud that. Yes. Well, yeah, he's got to go to school. Absolutely. Yeah, you can't you can't have him having a ding dong with a twenty five year old or getting you know into crystal meth or something. Although I would love to see those storylines, but um, both like, of, both of them actually, I'd like to see those combined. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. Just all happen in one episode. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Higgins after hours, um, but otherwise, otherwise, yeah, he's just there um, to um, tell people stuff. <laughs> it's it's Higgins's Coach Beard episode. It's bound to happen, right? It's oh, yeah. oh exactly, yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, uh, James, I was wondering if you could talk to me about shooting all of those incredible moments between Trent and Colin in Amsterdam. I think. <sighs> They were written beautifully, but there were also these moments of silences that were performed mm. by the both of you absolutely beautifully. Uh, just mm. give me an oral history on how that came about. Well, we shot all of that stuff in one day, uh, or one one evening. We started sort of a, a, a sort of late afternoon, and then we went through till about sort of six a.m. or five five a.m. in the morning in Amsterdam. Oh, so. Wow. It had- yeah, it had this kind of otherworldly quality to it, uh, you know, that kind of twilight element. And we actually shot all of the scenes back to front. So the, you see the clubs, we shot the club scene first, then we shot the scene where Colin's in the bar, and then we shot the scene o- o- outside on the street, and then we shot the um, uh, the, the, the scene, the big scene where we're the Homie Monument and um, Colin opens up about his his life. So it was a really interesting um, night and um, because you had to sort of slightly think backwards a little bit with it. And um, I, I, I mean, I loved every single, every single moment of it. Um, um, It was a lot of fun being on the dance floor with, with, as Trent with Colin, you know, because there was a sort of a, there's just this abandon that that we were able to do, you know, as they sort of find this safe place together. That was gorgeous to do. and then, um, but then obviously when we shot the scene at the, at the monument, it's about 4, 4 a.m. It just had a very magical quality in the air that night. It was very still. And Jason um, popped up uh, just before and uh, came out and, and gave um, gave Billy a whole new rewrite for the, for Ooh, the, wow. for the scene. Just <laughs> wow. went, there you go. And then we kind of, we just went over it uh quite a few times together and then it and then and then it was captured and it was um it was really lovely and and i i love that you noticed or you mentioned the sort of the quiet the silence i was going to say that mm. very cool yeah and that's that's people listening isn't it and it's sometimes it's as compelling when people listen to somebody else uh as 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 talk yeah yeah there's there's that you know because obviously trank Krim is a, is a journalist, so he's good at asking questions. But what I loved about that was was the sort of mixture of a yeah part journalist listening, but really just another man, another person listening to somebody, and how healing that is. You know that space that was that was really lovely to play. Oh, and, and we got a, a hint of that. I don't know if I'm reading too much at this, but we got a hint of that even in the foreshadowing from the previous episode when Trent's 
inadvertently giving Ted's advice, Ted advice on what to do with the team, right? He's like, oh, I can't say anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I'm a writer and I shouldn't get involved. Sure. And, and here he is getting involved in Colin's <laughs> life and helping him out, which I yes. thought was absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah. uh, Jeremy, uh, very quickly, as a, as a jazz fan, if you could see one person play live, who would, who would it be, past or present? It would be Charlie Parker. That's a good yeah, yeah. answer. Yeah, yeah, if, yeah. If, if I could ever watch just a performance of Birth of the Cool, I would die the next day and be happy. <laughs> like, yeah. um, I, I'm, I'm all out of time, but uh, uh, hear me out. I've been telling all the people I've been speaking to about uh, possible spin-off ideas if this was the final season of Ted Lasso. The both of you, Trent and Higgins, uh, where they go on a trip like Steve Coogan and Rob Brydon is something I would watch the shit out of. I'm just telling you that. <laughs> that's, the cool. that's the closest. Either that or a detective agency. <laughs> <laughs> that could work too. Yeah. Uh, congratulations, guys, and thank, thank you so much you. for the show. Thank, thank you very you. much. Cheers. Cheers. Bye bye. Am I to assume that you're going to pursue a notoriously mercurial player you can't afford simply because your ex husband wants him? Yes. Love that. Watch Ted Lasso on Apple TV Plus. I mean, why are you not watching Ted Lasso on Apple TV Plus? It is fan. Fantastic. Sound off in the comments below. Tell us what you think of the latest season. Don't forget to like, subscribe, watch our other videos, tell your friends, tell your family about us. You know what to do.